the G20 Youth Project. So we work with 10 to 25 year olds. Uh, we've got a youth club and we've got an older space for our 16 plus, um, which is more about work and personal development. And they, we run like a car wash, a cafe, barbering, and we try to do a lot of like work experience and that kind of thing. Well, the, did you see the film? Yeah, that was like the young people wrote that film, they starred in it, so super proud of them, massively proud of all the things the young people have done, like work. We've got quite a few young people got into jobs, like Marco who's DJing right now, He's one, he was one of our young people. Tonight is um, a celebration because we've become a charity in our own right. So when we started at the Children's Wood, when we met the young people, we were part of the Children's Wood charity and now we've split and become our own thing. So it's like a celebration of five years plus for our own our own thing. So we just wanted to get everyone together and have a good laugh and a dance. Uh, me and my pals just cutting about the forces when we were about 15, 16. They all came and found us. They just want some way to sit and we were just taking the mick out of them. But we went and now look at us now, man. Good pals with them for about six years. Get us all this funding, sorted our driving lessons a lot. Some boys. Okay, so, hello, I'm Kami. I'm a youth worker at G20. And yeah, hello. I joined G20 because for a few years I was working with MCR Pathways. I worked with MCR Pathways for a few years and I wanted to get more involved with youth work. Um, I knew some people in it already and it seemed like a good move for me and it's been amazing. Yeah, it's been really good. What do you do at G20? Uh, I'm one of the core youth workers in the team. Been there for uh, two and a half years now. Uh, I help run music workshops, youth clubs, art projects. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. Where do you see G20 in five years? Hopefully this, hopefully this bigger and better, you know, it keeps expanding, we keep growing, hiring more people, working with more young people, yeah, it's going to be really good, yeah. So. Anne Newell, Emily of the Wineford, um, supporting young people in the Wineford to put attention and compassion at the young people for it better of the young people to get back into the opportunities. Um, I joined. G20 is our apprenticeship, is a receptionist youth worker. Um, I've been a youth worker with Why Soft It and stuff like that, so it has benefited me um, as I want to be a social worker and to children and families. Um, so, yeah, it's benefited me. Because um, I like working with young people, it put the compassion and potential into young people's lives. I'm sure, so I'm James. Uh, I do car volume training at the G20 uh, Works with uh, a lot of youths uh, training them how to wash cars at the unit. How did you get involved with the G20? It was, I've seen uh, some stuff on Twitter where they actually had the scan van over at uh, Mary Hill at the Tesco and I popped over because uh, seen obviously they were helping youths um, to serve obviously the public and to try to help them into positive destinations uh, for employment. That's amazing. So what kind of uh, changes in the community have you seen over the years since the G20 has been introduced to the community? Well, we've seen, um, with the car volunteering training that we do, we, we've seen these guys didn't kind of know what kind of path they want to go in life and now they actually believe that they can make a career at Cav Alton and yeah, and they just start believing themselves so the G20 I think is quite a very important part of the Wineford and it keeps the youth busy and it's a purpose for them to go somewhere every day. So I've got a great energy, especially Emily, she's just like, every time you see her she's like, just a minute, just a minute, everybody's always calling Emily, Emily, but um, to, you know, the fact that people are using their own time and uh, their own energy and the things that they've achieved, like the the um, the pizza thing that the kids do, um, you know, they're going out there and they're doing gigs and they're earning money through their own work. I mean, they make the pizza from scratch every week, you know, for the sauce to the pastry. Everything's all done from scratch. And um, when you see them interacting with people, you see them come out their shells, you know, that like usually they're a bit shy and things like that. But then when they're talking about what they do and people ask questions, they're all on about answering it and telling them all about what they've been doing with their day and how they created the pizzas and whatever else they seem to be doing at that minute. So I'm just really proud of them for putting themselves out there because it's no easy. So, my name's Scott Rowan and I, well, I do a couple of things, but initially I'm, I go quite far back with Emily, we're old pals. 
um, and I heard that she was doing youth work and I actually worked in Poland for a couple of years teaching DJing um, and doing a music class um, and that kind of wrapped up just before lockdown so I was kind of looking for something else to get involved in so I heard that she was doing this so I got back in touch after a good few years um, and came down and just met her and saw what she was doing and just wanted to get involved so that's kind of what I've been doing thus far um, just with DJ classes um, and just the patience that they have, unbelievable patience, um, like, you know, all sorts of stuff happens there all the time and Emily just gets engaged and involved in absolutely everything and she's, I mean, the amount of funding that she's got for people, for young kids to get musical equipment, to get, um, you know, their beauty products to start their beauty classes and all that um, and, like, she's just tenacious at, at sourcing everything and anything that she can, um, so I am I'm proud to be a part of it, you know. So it started five years ago um, and it was because some young people were hanging about in a place called the Children's Wood, which is behind where I live and I was involved with the Children's Wood at that time and a lot of people didn't want them on the land. Um, a lot of people did but a lot of people just didn't want young people there um, and we got to know the young people and realised there wasn't many safe spaces for them and there was not that many opportunities and we wanted to, we could see there was a lot of talent and a lot of like just cool people and we wanted to, you do what we could to help them and that's why we started the youth club.
What's your best moment being with G20? Uh, probably shooting the street cones for them. That was a buzz. Me and all the troops. Uh, oh, well, recently we've been running uh, access to music making course, and that's been really good. <laughs> recently we've been working uh, access to music making courses, and that's been really good, like exposing young people to different ways to make music, DJ and music production, guitar, you know, songwriting. So that's been good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.